This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Friday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Stewards of Earthly Riches. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. There is much to ponder in this parable and many lessons from which we can learn. To begin, the rich man should be understood as God and you as the steward. This is an important first lesson to learn because it reveals to us that when it comes to material things in this world, God is the true owner of all. We are only stewards. Think about that carefully. When it comes to all that you own, all your money and possessions, do you hold on to it as if you were the complete master of these material items? Clearly, most people do think this way. They may work hard to earn a living, save and buy this and that, build up their bank accounts, and then remain very attached to these material things, seeing them as mine rather than as God's. So the first very challenging lesson we should look at is that all we own is actually the possession of God. He only permits us to be stewards of the things of this world. Do you believe that? As stewards, we must be committed to use the riches within our stewardship only in the way that God wants it used. In this parable, the steward was reported to the rich man for squandering his property. We also are guilty of squandering the possessions of God when we use money in accord with our own will and desires rather than those of God's. This is an exceptionally common tendency, especially for those who have become the stewards of much money. Therefore, the more money that one has stewardship over, the more they will be tempted to squander it, meaning use it for selfish purposes rather than for the glory of God in accord with His will. This is a hard teaching to accept and live. But these truths are indeed revealed to us by this parable, so it is essential that we listen. The words spoken by the rich man prepare a full account of your stewardship are words that we must all anticipate hearing one day. If that day were today, what would that full account of your stewardship look like? Have you worked hard for selfish gain? Or have you worked hard to act with great responsibility over the things God has entrusted to your care? As the parable continues, we read that the steward acted prudently in that he devised a plan to make sure his material needs were met once he lost his position as steward. The prudence, however, that is spoken of here is a reference to the worldly and therefore evil ingenuity, cleverness, hard work, and commitment many people have regarding the material wealth they seek to obtain in this world. Though it is good to be diligent and hard-working in life, too often this is done for the purpose of selfish gain. Just imagine if everyone who worked so hard at getting rich even put more effort into building up the kingdom of God on earth. How different this world would be if we had so many hard workers for God's mission. Reflect today upon the simple truth that when it comes to the riches of this world, you are only the steward of what you possess, not its master. 
God wants you free from the attachment to material wealth so that you will be free to use all that you have for His glory and in accord with His purpose. That does not mean that you must donate all you have to charities. Instead, it means that you continually offer all that you have to God and seek to use it in accord with His will and His will alone. If that means you discern that God wants you to buy something new, then buy something new. If that means giving more away, then give more away. If that means living more simply as a holy sacrifice, then do just that. Money cannot buy happiness. Only embracing God's will to the fullest will result in the happiness and fulfillment you deeply desire. Let us pray. My Lord of all riches, you and you alone are the master of all things created. All that I have and possess are yours, dear Lord. Help me to believe this and to live my life purely as a steward of the possessions I have. Free me from squandering that which you have entrusted to my care. May I use all for your glory and only in accord with your holy will. Jesus, I trust in you.